So let me share with you my most embarrassing public bathroom moment. Now everyone has one, but who's brave enough to share it with the world? I am. This story takes place in a store called Books a Million. Have you ever heard of it? I hadn't, that's why I stopped to check it out. This is a giant bookstore with over two floors of books. It has a nice atmosphere, great book selection, and of course, every time I go into a bookstore, I have to, uh, I, I have to, I have to poop, okay? I have to poop every time I go into a bookstore. There's something about bookstores that make me have to go number two. Maybe it's the quiet and relaxing nature of bookstores, or maybe it's because at home, I have to have a book to read before I drop the Browns off at the Super Bowl. I mean, I'll look all over the house for something to read, no matter how bad I have to go to the bathroom. See, I'm a dad, so the bathroom is the only time I get any peace and quiet to sit down and read. So I search the store for a bathroom, and I find one on the second floor, and it's a nice bathroom. It's clean, it's tiny, just one stall and one urinal. It's what I call a TPPP, or the perfect pooping place. That's right. It has to have like this, you know, small, quaint atmosphere. No one's going to come in and bug you. Yeah, that's awesome. And I just want to be perfectly clear here. I did not take any books from the bookstore into the bathroom with me. Uh, that would be gross. And the sign specifically says on the front door, no merchandise in bathroom. So yeah, believe me, I wouldn't do that. So I sit on the porcelain throne and proceed to build a log cabin. Now, my number two rule about number two is flush ASAP, as soon as poop. That's not an egg you're perched on. You need to pull the handle and flush that turd pedo right away. This will prevent the bathroom from smelling. And you'll find out how I messed this rule up in another story later on. So, right away, I go to grab the toilet paper and... A small... 5x5 five five square of cheap one-ply toilet paper is all there is. Just one square. I check the toilet paper holder and it's out. Completely empty. Okay, just my luck. Hmm, so I carefully pull up my pants, careful that my underwear doesn't touch my, you know, not so clean bottom. And uh, I go out of the stall to see if I can find a paper towel or better yet, some tissues. Oh, are you kidding me? One of those stupid hand dryers? Well, that's not going to help. My mind is racing. Maybe I can ask a worker. Jeez, that's gonna be so embarrassing. Or I could go look for another bathroom, but I kind of have this uh, issue, uh, you know, the lack of wiping. That's gonna be kind of gross. Where am I gonna find toilet paper? Just then, an older gentleman walks in. Kind of startles me, because I was deep in thought, and he needs to use the urinal. So hey, this is great. I'll just wait till he's finished, and then I'll ask him. I sort of run the conversation by in my head. Hey, would you mind asking a worker to bring me some toilet paper? I just ran out. Yeah, no, no problem, not at all. But, uh, why don't you ask? Well, so I already went to the bathroom, and then there was no paper, and... You put your pants back on without wiping? What's the matter with you? Are you some kind of animal? No, no, I mean, I just thought I'd start looking. Just then, when I was, like, totally blanked out in daydream mode, the gentleman looks at me from the corner of his eye. I didn't even realize I was just sort of blankly staring, not at him, I mean, goodness gracious, no, just staring at the wall, but, I mean, I might as well have been looking at him, I mean, this is completely weird, a tiny bathroom, two people, and I'm just standing there doing nothing, and no words are coming out of my mouth. Okay, this is super weird, you've got to say something, I mean, on the count of three, just blurt it out, just ask him. Okay, here it goes, one... And he shoots out the door. I mean, he just shoots out the door. He didn't even try and wash his hands. I don't even know if he zipped up. He just took off. Oh my gosh, he's probably getting mall security right now or telling a manager about me. Uh, there's a weirdo watching people pee in the bathroom. Yeah, we'll go take care of that creep. We find one at least once a week. Okay, I need to get out of here right now and I need to go find some toilet paper. And I need to get out of this store. So I carefully shuffle out of the bathroom and begin my way out of the store to find another restroom in another store nearby. Luckily, right next door, there's a restaurant, and I make a beeline for the bathroom. Hi, welcome to Thursdays. Would you prefer a table or a booth? I'm just going to use your bathroom and leave, so uh, can you point me where it is? Oh, you're one of those weirdos from the Books A Million store, I bet. Hey, 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 guess what? I've been working on this video for a while, and doing some research, I have discovered there is a term for people that need to use the restroom when they go into a bookstore. Specifically, they need to go number two. And it is funny. It's actually called 
the Mariko Aoki Phenomena. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details about it. It is slightly interesting, but I was just shocked that there's an actual term for people like me that have this issue. So, anyways, back to the show. Now, my other embarrassing bathroom story took place at the Ohio Theater. It's a very upscale and historic old theater, and my wife and I, when we just got married, we decided to go see a play. Well, I had the brilliant idea to go to a Mexican restaurant before the play for dinner. And boy, howdy, was that a mistake. As soon as I got to the Ohio Theater, my stomach was doing the rumbly tumblies, and it did not feel good. So, I needed to find a bathroom quick. Now, like I said, the Ohio Theater is a very old and historic theater. It's been refurbished and remodeled, looks amazing, and the bathroom stalls are super small. I mean, so small that your shoulders nearly touch both sides when you sit down. When you think of an airplane bathroom, that would be very large in comparison to the stalls at the Ohio Theater. So, I released the MOAP. Yeah, that's right, the mother of all poops. And remember my number two rule about number two? That is, flush ASAP as soon as pooping? Well, for some reason, I ignored my own rule. Maybe because the stalls were so tiny, I just couldn't reach behind me to push the flusher. I don't know, but for whatever reason, it really smelled awful. That's right. I mean, it was probably the worst thing I ever smelled in my life. There was a man sitting next to me in the stall, and he was gagging and just saying, Oh, oh, that's, oh, oh, that's awful. <coughs> oh, I mean, literally gagging. I heard men come into the bathroom, gasp, and leave. Oh, that smell. Oh, oh, gosh. I'm going to look for another bathroom. You don't want to go in there. That is awful. Oh, don't go in there. You know, this is kind of a suit and tie place. I mean, there's even guys wearing tuxedos here. So this is like a really high class uh, moment. And I am, uh, yeah, I clearly don't belong here. I was killing everyone around me. I waited till everyone was gone. And then I washed my hands as fast as I could and took off. I just wanted to get out of that bathroom before anyone could say, hey, there's the guy that let off the terrible, terrible smelling poop. So here are my bathroom rules. Number one, always check to see if there's toilet paper and extra toilet paper. Number two, you know this one, flush ASAP. That's right, just flush that thing down so the smell doesn't stick around. Number three, find TPPP. That's right, the perfect pooping place. If you can hold it till you can find one, it's well worth the wait. And number four, don't watch your phone or your tablet in the bathroom. I mean, that's really rude. Plus people can hear it and they know you're taking forever in there. Uh, you know, read a book instead, or read your emails, but don't watch things in the bathroom. Unless you're watching my video on YouTube, then can you please like and subscribe?